guys, it's Angel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jack Daniel Welling 2 palette and yeah. So it says the past few years have been absolutely insane. So many highs, so many loves, amazing memories, and tons of drama. They would all, my subscribers always had my back. Thank you for loving and supporting me no matter what. This palette is to embrace the past, owning the present, and dominating the future together. I hope these shades make you feel strong, powerful, loved, the way you make me feel every day, XL Jacqueline Hill. Girl. Anywho. So it comes with bubble wrap, of course. And the palette's like this. And we'll open it together. Mm -hmm. Does it have? Oh, it does have a plastic. Okay. Um, it says to my loving subscribers who have supported me all through these years. This one's for you, Rowling Two X O. These are all the colors. I'm not gonna do swatches because like close up I am I mean these colors look beautiful I wonder what we're gonna use I wonder what we're gonna play with because like mm, what is this do you see that do you, oh wait it's plastic it's plastic it's plastic never mind no it's plastic <laughs> see it's gone I also got all of the brushes, so let's just get into it and see what we can create and so right off the bat I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill 53 Morphe brush. We're going to just take a regular color probably. We're gonna take perfectionist, which is this color right here. And we're just gonna put it all over the eyelid area. So just to tap into that. Just gonna put a oh I can't even talk. I'm gonna put it all over the eyelid like this. Just so it has some color. Um Okay. I mean it's there, you know, you can see it. I just kind of wanted to add some color, you know, to the eye. See the, di see the difference? So I want to go in with filling myself. It is just an orangey. It's this one right here. I'm just going to go in with it and just put it right directly into the crease. We're going in just right away. So like right here is where we're going to go. I'm just gonna like just kind of put it into the crease. We're not gonna blend it right away. I just really want to see how these colors work first of all because I don't know how this palette works and this might be a bad palette. This might be a good palette. I do not know. It looks like Cheeto dust. Definitely not feeling this color. It's when I blend it, it just kind of goes away. So like, I don't know what that's about, um, but we're going to be positive and we're just going to dab some more in. Maybe it just needs to build up the color. I'm not giving up yet. Going in with the Morphe J H15, we're just going to blend it. So take it at the very, very end, the tip of the, the tip of the brush, if you will. And you just kind of want to just slightly go like this in circle motions, not the wind wiper shield motions because you already did that. You want to go in circle motions really softly, not even like barely even touching the eyelid. And you just want to do this for about five minutes, honestly. <laughs> That's how long I blend, but like, so we're just going to do this for about, I don't know, two to three minutes and it should come out a very beautiful we're going to be going to heart on which is this 
pink, um, pink but red. It looks, it looks more red on camera, but it's more pink in real life. So I'm gonna dip that in with the Morphe 52 Jaclyn Hill edition, and we're gonna put it where we put the other color, basically. So like, I have to top off the axis. So I'm just putting it where I put the other colors directly into the inner corner. I like this. One thing that I'm noticing, you really have to build the color up so it's not like bam, this pigment. Like when you put it on, like you have this pigment, but like once you start to blend it, it kind of fades away. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like this palette. But I mean, it's working so far, you just really have to build up the color, which I mean, it's working, you can see so. Okay, so the pigment is like not staying. I don't know why, but um, we're gonna keep on going because we don't give up. Um, this is not my journey, which is uh, I don't know. We're gonna go to not my journey, which is this purpley pink color. We're gonna put it um more into the inner corner area, like so so like right here and we're just gonna do like a v section like a v so you want to do like a v like that so you know what i'm trying to say like a v section like a, a v a v then okay i know i look crazy but like bear with me we're gonna go back to heat on which is this color right here and we're just gonna blend on top of the purpley color. So you get what I'm saying? So like you dip into that top of the axis and then you blend it with the purple color like this, okay? And then it's gonna make it less harsh. This is such a weird, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry, but like this is, a, it's gonna be cute. Just trust me, please. So we're gonna take e.l.f. concealer you can take any type of concealer you want but i'm using e.l.f. i'm gonna be taking a really flat tiny brush and we're gonna be dipping into okay after i use this concealer i'm gonna do like um what is it called i'm so stupid i'm so stupid i'm so stupid you're so stupid God, you're so a cut crease. So we're gonna do a cut crease right here, and we're gonna do like a, a violet blue violet thing material. So like this, we're gonna cut the crease. We're gonna put this color in the middle of the crease, and then we're gonna do like a another color right here. I'll I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you. So like I said gonna take this and right here I really don't want to take a lot because this concealer a lot goes a long way so yes um so cut the crease and you want to go kind of just take your time with this actually um, because it can be pretty tricky to do a cut crease. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's my favorite type of eye look to do because it's just, I don't know, it goes so well with my eye shape. It's gonna like elongate my eyes and it's gonna be so cute. Okay, and then you just wanna like just tap it like this so like it kind of blends in with the purple color but like not totally and then you want to go over 
where is the where is the hold on so if you want to go back into it's called therapy session um okay so gonna go into therapy session and you are going to tap it like so it's gonna turn like a violet color see that's so pretty i told you this was gonna be pretty i told you guys you guys didn't believe me i know you guys didn't but trust the process everything takes time and then i'm going to take the anastasia of beverly hills sweet Girl kit i'm gonna take sassy crepe it's just this color right here we are going to put it directly in the inner corner like so oh wait hold on that's not what i wanted no i know we don't like cap on d maybe you guys do i don't know but we're gonna take this ultraviolet color in the prism palette stuff we're gonna put it right here see i knew it was gonna work but i don't really i mean she's not my cup of tea but you know it's okay you know people might change in the future so i keep her palette around um you know no shade you know mm. next we're gonna go in with back to where we go mm. i want to go back to what we, we're gonna go to next and crazy so these two colors right here we're gonna dip into it and we're just gonna make it more darker on the very top of this so like right here we're just gonna go more darker just to add some depth and dimension um just keep going back and forth this is gonna be so cute okay not too much just a little just to you know enhance this and then lastly we're gonna go to um this one color it's not my journey and then we're gonna go to temptress so these two we're gonna mix it put it right in the inner corner blend the hell out of that and we're gonna be done i think maybe i don't know <laughs> okay so basically this is what i did i just went back um so the colors up here are down here basically so like the pink ones heat on and the not my journey a little much uh, a little bit of therapy sesh just kind of them all down here just to, so it wasn't so like weird because it looked weird without colors under here so that's why i did this is what it looks like so far i'm gonna put on some lashes i don't think i'm gonna put on mascara because this look <coughs> my daughter likes to choke when she's sleeping she's fine um <laughs> maybe one day you'll meet her i don't know we'll do like a challenge or something like but basically i put like fallout not fallout i put constant constellation transition powder right here and just to make it like cute or whatever you know and so this is it so far i'm gonna put in some lashes to be like dramatic and then we'll call it a day These lashes are crazy. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Where did I even get these? I don't even know. Holy crap. Holy crap. I look like a freaking spider. <laughs> I look like a witch's room. I look like uncooked spaghetti. I look like Isma, like a camel. I look like a palm tree. 
aren't these so much better than like good lord i don't even know what that was i'm so sorry i'm so sorry anyway that was my review of the tour of the Chaplin hill palette um it's crazy you have to do a whole lot to do not a lot well this is a lot but like you know it's it's a lot it's a lot and i don't know if i would um recommend the palette because it's i mean if you have a lot of time on your hands which you do because you're in quarantine so you might as well get it anyway i will absolutely not hold you any more longer this is it i hope you guys like it like comment subscribe if you have not already and remember make your thumbs up at the end of the day but your heart stays the same i love you guys so much goodbye <laughs>